charging towards a third world title in 2019. He's up on his first qualifying run here. Trying to crack the top four for the opportunity at a victory. Another victory here at the Surf Ranch. Driving up into the pocket, swings that tail with so much aggression, Pete. All the outside work has been impeccable. Drifting the fins, carrying tons of speed, and it continues through the midsection here. And of course, going to over the lip, hangs on. Incredible stuff. Gets back out in front of it, and now sets up the tube in the inside. He's going to avoid the barrel, though, to go for a corrupt flip. Oh. And he easily stops it. With Talk a about firing what? under pressure. Oh. Off the rebound from the round head. Out of the, the ball, trying to get out of that staircase. Well, uh, that's just uh, an ode to how long and how difficult it is at the very end of these rides, especially after you've rode one way going one direction and you're straight back into it the other direction. Here's the 31-year-old Geordie Smith on his right, locked in deep. Comes out over the foam ball there. Gets some work done on that open face. Really dynamic turns, carving at different stages, kicking on the tail and moving plenty of water. Now driving through to the inside, swings the tail right around, finds some release out of the lip again. And now looks to fit in one more jam. Drifts the tail free before setting up the barrel, locked and loaded. Coming on out, looking for something big. There's the alley of his own. And winds through a beautiful roundhouse cut back to finish, and that feels good. And have your company here at the Freshwater Pro. That big vehicle running down the line with those hydrofoils on it. Over 100 tonnes of machini machinery providing this incredible left-hander. And Owen Wright, the current world number eight. With a CT win at the last venue, is starting to flare up, showing us just how well-rounded he is. Big frontside finner there. Does well to get back out in front of it, finds some cover midway through the ride. Very rare here. And now starting to load up and looking for a big finish. That's that creativity. Another big hack. Pushing hard on the tail of his board. Locks into the barrel once again. And comes out, looking for more on the inside. Throws the release nice. and sticks it. That whole... As Carissa Moore is absolutely blowing up out the back on the right. Already through the barrel, a couple of turns out the back. Carissa laying down a big frontside hook. Driving hard into the lip line. A little setup move off the lip into a huge forehead hook. Blows the tail out. Sits on the roof, rides it out clean into the barrel that she loves so much on the end section. Flawless from Carissa, going for the punt, bins out, lands on her feet. With Gabriel, and now setting up the right, needing at least an 8.7 to move to the top eight. The big, powerful hacks off the lip, slamming on the brakes, pulls it under the hood, still traveling. He'll get the exit. Itolo back to big turns. He's got a running right that he grew up on back in Brazil, so his back end was polished at a very young age. Big hammer right in the pocket, really unloading off that lip. Flowing off the top now, nice tight jam, it's getting hollow. Perfect transition into the barrel for Italo. He's got time to change his stance, comes out the low road to punch free. Pop, shove it to finish, Ferreira. What a showman. Fox, Felipe Toledo up on right number two. He had a 7.7 .7 on his first left. And just electricity, Pete, on the opening turns of this ride. And straight into the barrel, and now get some more work done. Let's see some tail free surfing from Felipe. We know he has it. He went to the upper end of the scale on his right-hand efforts earlier on in the event, throwing some risk at us, drifting the tail there. No time in recovery, climbing back up into the pocket oh. and absolutely unloading on that section. Now kicks on the tail, looking to get particularly deep here, dancing with that falling lip, locks in, rolling through this one, has room to move, throws the alley-oop. Oh, Big air 
first time last year. Hoping to see it today. It's one of the, the most technically sound surfers on the CT. Just really low center of gravity. Always draws out big, smooth bottom turns. Throws a reverse early on, so showing some risk on this ride already, Pete. He understands what you need to do is get something exciting on that outside section and then the rhythm section. This is where it feels like you just got to get top to bottom. Although he'll think about this inside section as something as a ramp and I hope he does. Well, it looks that way at the moment. He is driving past this tube section, loading up for something big. And it's a monster big speed. Oh He's going to stick my. it. Oh, oh my. Man, that feels oh good. We went for that same term a number of times last year. Jordan won to win a world title. You got to go for it. 8.7 on that first wave and now gets a shot to have a run at the lead here. He needs a 6.64 to get in front of his rivals and he's on his way. Nice hits on the outside there and ducks into the tube. See how loose he is off the bottom. He's not rushed, he's not stiff looking, he's very comfortable. And this is where he starts to go to work and whipping the back end. Much like Griffin Colapinto, likes stepping down to a shorter board to fit the transitions of this wave as well and it seems to work so well for him. A lot of freedom on the face. And we know that that happened just uh, by kind of by accident with Wilco's board. And now a design has got him right in the pit. Oh, locked in and finding his way through this one with ease for sure is Owen Wright. And the Australian will be making his way up that leaderboard. Right into number one. He's feeling very good. Third on the seating for the final. And now she'll try to improve on her 8.73 on this right. Mark setting up that turn, the youngest on the top 17. Two quick backhand jams. Belts that lip line for that third turn. Now stalling for the backhand pit. Completely gone from this angle. Caroline makes it with some momentum. Hard off the bottom, clean carve. Nice steady pace to Caroline Marks from Florida. Wide open canvas to throw some water, belting the lip line. Already getting credit for possibly the best backhand on tour. And this wide open pitch, he's gonna enjoy that view. Caroline Marks showing up for finals day. Big finish and a bonus <laughs> section to hack. Wow. California. Right here at the Surf Ranch. Remember the first edition was just the right. And they introduced the left, had Jerry Lopez on the first one. Kelly rode the first wave out here. Through a couple of turns with Cola Pinto, still sixth on the leaderboard. Looking to better an eight point ride here. Pulls in nice and deep, so deep. He still got the line to come out free. Griffin got absolutely barreled three times at Kira on his rookie debut last season to get a 10 point ride. Clean front side carp searing through the open face. Griff hits it off the lip. Time to get two. Go one more time. Cola Pinto enjoying this inside section. Great timing on the exit. Big fin throw reverse. Whole new amount of pressure. Lakey getting started on her second right of the final. Looking to improve on an 8.4. DeFay with a nine on the right already. Peterson winning Margaret River this year in Western Australia. A huge accomplishment. Into the barrel with Lakey Peterson. Even see the waves spit just like they do in the ocean. Using a lot of the face there. Deep off the bottom. Going all the way through the lip. I love that power and that hack off the top. No hesitation in between turns. And the different pace of the wave compared to last year allows you to really open up. Here is it, it's gonna get nice and hollow. Lakey holds her line, comes out, setting up the finish. A beautiful carve to seal the go. One man who has to be ready to go right now is this guy. Well, Kelly Slater is chasing a big one. He needs an 8.28 now to get himself well up the leaderboard. Good looking wave. Nice size of this one. Draws off the bottom. Hammers that section. Trademark stuff from Slater. Nice. And he sets up the tube now. One of the best barrel riders, obviously, uh, wow. we've ever come across. Now driving again on the rail. Through this midsection. This is where the turns have got to have the volume. You've got to turn it up. You've got to get the judges excited here. A wrap and a little flick of the tail. Another pump. 
into the lip. There was a stabbing re-entry up into another more committed tail wash. Into another one. Beautiful into the inside tube. Unbelievable under pressure. Chasing a big number. Needs an 8.28. Loading up for the alley -oop on the oh. end section. Effort to improve that top spot on the leaderboard. Here comes the ride for Medina. Winning at Jeffries Bay this year. Back-to-back -back finals. Runner-up to Owen Wright. Slams on the brakes. You can see how perfect this wave is. Actually spitting behind him. Big hack there off the lip. Ember trying to improve on his 827. Multiple majors. Seen him from wins at Jay Bay. Also Snapper Rocks. Classic backhand work. Slows down, pulls in. He'll get nice and deep. Gets the exit. Winds up for the finish, tail high reverse. And shuts that one down. What a brilliant performance from the defending event champion. Yeah, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? It's, uh... Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.